Okay, hi guys. Going live again. Um, I, I just have a few minutes here. I'm doing this during nap time. And when you uh, do stuff during nap time as a mom, at any point in time, kids can get up and need something. So I have been watching the um, Women's March. And um, there's just a few things I wanted to say about that. Um, first of all, these women are saying that they speak for all women and that they uh, want to give a voice to all women. And I just say that they do not give a voice to me. Um, the, the vast majority of the march was funded by Planned Parenthood, which I do not support. I don't support my tax dollars going to fund and support abortions. I believe that babies in the womb have a right just like you or I. I believe that they're individuals um, separate from, from me. I've carried three babies inside my womb, and I'll tell you that, that they, uh, they are separate. They're their own self, their own individual, and I support their rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Um, also, I just got done watching uh, Madonna tell us all that she thought about blowing up the White House after Trump was elected. And, uh, and then she says she chooses love. Well, either you want to blow up the White House or you're choosing love because uh, you can't have both really and that's inciting violence and I think that could actually be a federal offense saying that you wanted to blow up the White House so somebody might want to check into that and uh, geez also um, I also saw Gloria Steinem tell us that if Muslims have to register then we're all gonna register as Muslims and and no no we're not um, I'm not gonna register as a Muslim and uh, if we want to talk about uh, rights um, the vast majority of Muslims support Sharia law and uh, women have very, very little rights under Sharia law. Uh, I think having to have five male witnesses saying that you were raped when you were raped um, is insane. A lot of women under Sharia law cannot drive. So let's, let's get that into perspective. And then when you watch these women talk about, you know, their rights and they're, they're fighting for women's rights, what, what right do men have that we don't have right now? I, as American women, I'd like to know because um, as far as I'm concerned, we have the right to speech, we have the right to um, property, to own property, we have the right to religious freedom, we have the same Bill of Rights that every single man out there has. And so um, I'd like to know, seriously, if, you, if you're watching, I'd like you to, to tell me um, what rights men have that we don't have. And if you're going to say equal pay, there's already an Equal Pay Act in existence saying that women and men must be paid equally. So if you're not, if you're doing the same job as a man right now and you're not getting paid equally, then you might want to take that up with your employer. But right now, there is an Equal Pay Act in existence and we are entitled to the same equal pay as a man if you're doing the same job. The, the difference is a lot of women are not majoring and going into the same occupations that men are going into. A lot of men are going into um, computer sciences and women are going into more of a liberal arts. Well, the pay is going to be different in that and I hope you understand that. Um, also, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, and this is a, uh, one, one other thing I wanted to mention. Um, the big thing is um, abortion, and women talk about how you know abortion is their ultimate right because it's their body and their choice. When really giving women the right to abortion is completely shirking all responsibility that a man has um, for getting a woman pregnant, because if he knows that in the end a woman can have an abortion, and you know then he has no responsibility at all. He might have a financial responsibility if the woman chooses to keep the child, but he has no responsibility other than that. He doesn't have to raise it, doesn't have to be involved. And so really, these women that are fighting for abortion, they're literally taking away all responsibility that a man should have um, and before you're becoming intimate with a woman because that there's a chance of having a baby. And um, we've, we've totally diminish what that means as a society and it's all about our rights and what we want as women but you're really taking away all all responsibility you're you're letting the man just completely walk with no responsibility and you're taking all responsibility and then in the end you're punishing a life that might be coming out of this whole thing which is just altogether insane to me so um uh also 
uh, exactly one, it's not a week, but in about a week from now, next Friday, there's going to be a March for Life in Washington, D.C., just what's happening there with the Women's March. And I really look forward to the media covering it as much as it's been covering this Women's March because the, the right and March to Life is going to be so much bigger than the Women's March is today. And yet, you know, every single person I follow on Twitter and everyone, oh my gosh, this Women's March is huge. There's so many women using profanity and hating. Um, but uh, there, there will be a lot more people out there um, on Friday, m marching for for life, and I really look forward to the media coverage because we all know that they're not going to cover it like they're covering this women's march. So um, I just challenge every single one of you to hold uh, these people accountable, call them out, make them make them cover it, um, and also to any woman out there watching that has a friend or might have had an abortion themselves. Um, there is psychological pain. There is emotional pain that you go through. And these women, they try to say that you can do this without any kind of consequences, without even feeling. And I know that women feel. And I know that it's painful. And I have friends that, that have had abortions. And know that you're loved. We would love to, for you to speak out and share your story that... Um, you know, it does take a toll. It's not something that should just be flippantly negated. That, um, you know, your voice can be used and you're totally welcome in a pro life community to share your story. Um, and that's really all I have to say. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, keep fighting for the conservative cause, guys.